Are you a carrier of a genetic disorder? Find your exact mutation type. Hi, there are a few ways to find the exact mutation type that you carry. Maybe you are unaware that there are different types of genetic mutations. If this is the case, this video is for you. Those are the common mutation types. Nonsense, missense, frameshift, splice site and in-frame mutations. It's important to know your mutation type as there are unique therapeutic approaches for certain mutation types. Such is the case for nonsense mutations, and if this is your mutation type, please join our foundation which promotes research and finding a cure for nonsense mutations. How to find what mutation type you carry. First you will need to fetch your genetic report. This is mandatory. Before we take the longer route, let's start with the basics. Many times this data will appear in plain English. So just quickly scan the genetic report to see if any of these mutation types are listed. If you didn't manage to find it, and this can certainly be the case, you will need to find the part in your report that specifies the location of the mutation in the gene. It usually starts with C followed by a period. This looks something like this. You should also know the name of the gene. In this example the gene main is CHD2. Now follow my lead. I enter a website called Gene Cards. You can find the link to the site in the video's description. In the search box, type the name of your gene. In our example CHD2. Now, select it from the list. In the links on the site header, select variant. This will lead you to a list of all known mutations in your gene. Let me explain. It's common when taking an exome test, to be asked if you are willing to provide the results anonymously to support science. If you answered yes, the genetic data trickles to public records like gene cards. Let's continue. As you can see we get a short list of variants, by clicking the select all button, we can get the full list. Now let's sort the list by clicking the third column, it will sort it based on the location on the gene. The number you see in your report post the C period, is the location of the mutation in the gene. Now scroll down till you find your location. I will scroll till I find the location I presented in the example, location 3937. Reaching the location is not enough, you should also match the exact letters. Now you can see in the last column the mutation type. You can see that the example I used, specifies the mutation type as nonsense. If you didn't find the genetic mutation in this list, it means your data didn't reach the public records. Your best chance to find your mutation type is to ask a geneticist. So get back to whoever gave you the report and ask, it's usually a very easy question to answer. By the way, if your data is not on the public records, Note you can still publish your genetic report anonymously. I left a link in the video's description. Until the next time, take care.